Before we begin with June 18, let's look back to June 12, one day after we discovered this bald-faced hornet nest on one of our living room windows. Note the relatively small size of the nest. Now compare this size with the growth of the nest over the next three to four months. Watch as the workers open a cocoon and help a new worker emerge. First the workers have cut an opening in the bottom of the cocoon, assisted by the queen. It takes about a minute for a new worker to emerge from a cocoon. She's greeted by the queen and almost immediately begins to go to work. Finally, on June 18, a worker trims away the flap on the now empty cell. The queen, meanwhile, attends to the larvae next door, then inspects the vacant cell. June 30. Sometimes a larva will die before it spins its cocoon. Then a worker must remove it. It's a lot of work. Finally, the worker takes the body outside for disposal in the grass. July 2. The queen chose where to build her nest wisely. On July 2, around 8 p.m., a wind and rainstorm with 70 mile per hour winds blew through. The wasps are totally unaffected, but we lost power for 34 hours. Sometimes a life inside a developing cocoon dies. Now the wasps need to remove the developing body. Here is how they do it. First, an opening is cut away. Then the dead body is pulled out of the cell. It takes three wasps to complete the total removal. The body is eventually taken outside. July 19. I accidentally bumped the window with a camera. You'll see why you don't want to mess with these angry wasps. I'm sorry I don't have sound, because the wasps slammed into the window, bam, bam, bam. It took them eight minutes to settle down. August 16. Here's a quick look at the setup inside our living room. Just a simple three light floor lamp using only the top lamp, a video camera with a broken tape transport, and a tripod. Now we'll move outside the house. It's 9.30 a.m. on August 16. The temperature is already 88 degrees. Two workers are continuing to add to the nest. But observe the two workers at the opening. They are providing air circulation for the wasps inside the nest. Here's a closer look. It 
As long as one doesn't disturb the nest, these little guys go about their business of finding food and building material. Nothing seems to bother their concentration on doing their assigned tasks. Neither low-flying planes nor the drone of a blimp bother these wasps. How do they know what specific tasks to do? How or do they communicate with one another? Next time we'll see how a wasp dies and is removed by its siblings. Until then, enjoy the fall weather. <laughs>